That's the old one. Just picked this up at Kohl's, guys. What's up, YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug, and what you see here is my brand new Ninja Dual Brew Pro specialty coffee system. Let's take a quick look at the box, guys. Look at that right there. And something new. Check that out. You saw it. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at the new and the old. New on the left, old is on the right. So the new one on the left is much more sleeker. Which it should be. Because it's the new one. Guys, I went live last night and part of the discussion was, you know, new Ninja products that are coming out in August. And it was brought to my attention that this coffee machine is out now. And it's a new coffee, you know, brewing system. So I promised I'd check it out and I did and I had to have it. Let's give you a view on all sides. back this is the other side guys this is how long our cord is average length and before I even plug it in let's analyze this machine real quick so I took the carafe out and this is a see-through black and clear carafe. Let's open this up. Is it Ninja branded? Um, probably just on the handle. Yeah, that's it. Okay. And you have this piece here. And it just If you want to make a single cup, boom. All right, guys, some technical information real quick. So this is 1,500 watts, guys. The water reservoir could hold up to 60 ounces, but my question off gate would be, is it um, purified water or tap water that they're asking to put in here? So let's figure that out. But to my surprise, it says we recommend using cool or room temperature water in the reservoir do not fill with hot or boiling water cool okay guys let's detach the water reservoir easy like that easy to put back on it does have that spot down there you see that Yep, I'm gonna wash it out and uh, put some water in there. I didn't use tap water, I used water from my refrigerator because that's filtered, so that's fine. But you can use tap water, didn't say you can't. So just wanted to throw that out there. Fill it up to the fill line all the way here. See it? It's just a little bit below it. Right, put the top back on. Boom. Tucked away on the side, you have your ground coffee scooper. And you don't have to use it, but I think it's neat that they have one. And they conveniently tucked it out the way. They have a big scoop and a regular scoop. Very cool. Also have your frother, which swings out. Very nice. And by the way, this piece comes detached like that. So you, when you get it, you'll just have to put it on like that. I think that's neat. You could completely take that off. You know, maybe even throw that in your dishwasher and be good to go. It just swings back just like that. Boom. And then 
here's the power button it's not on so that's why you don't hear anything but that's how you gas it up and this knob right here is awesome uh, it's gonna be awesome for me because this is where you go from coffee mode to water mode and me for me personally I would use water mode more than coffee I don't I, I drink coffee like once every three months <laughs> <laughs> but special specialty coffees which we're going to make a little later that's a different story but anywho so this this little knob thingy right here separates uh it changes from coffee mode to water mode so water mode you're making you know boiling water so you can use that for your teas you can use that for your oatmeal hot chocolate you know i don't know oodles and noodles you name it whatever you use hot water for there you go i'm going to jump on top for a second and this is where your pods go. Boom, look at that. So to get to the part where you put your ground coffee in is, you see this is on lock right now, I don't know if you can see it, but then you go push it in to remove. And now you lift up, you lift it all the way out. And bam, that's where you put your ground, right in there. My previous version, it did come with like a plastic mesh uh, coffee filter thingy, but um, no, they did give you these paper filters right here. But I already have my own, and I'll leave a link in the description. And so we just put it in like that. Now the little plastic ones they used to give you with them, it was a nightmare to clean anyway, so I... I, I, I get them on this and and this pack right here looks like it's probably like 10 of them in there but just be mindful if you do a lot of single cup coffee or no if you brew a lot of coffee whether it's single or carafe you're going to need um, you know these coffee filters so and you can get this at your supermarket it's not it's not like you have to order them online or anything so you're, you're, you'll be good but I'll leave a link in the description by the way whatever you want I got it Cool, and so now we take this part right here and we just slide it over. Boom. All right, guys, so I finally plugged it in. There's two ways to turn this thing on. You have your power button right here. On, off, on, off. Or I can turn it on like this and then turn it off with this power button. If you try to turn it off by, use, by pressing this, it'll start to try and make some coffee. We don't want that. So, let's turn it back on and let's go over the modes. So this must be a small cup of coffee. That is a regular cup. This is an extra large cup. This is one fourth carafe, half of a carafe, and full carafe. Is there anything else? No. Okay. All right, you see over here it says brew style. Let me go ahead and zoom in. It says brew style here. So when you hit that, it got, went from classic to rich to over ice to specialty. Okay. I don't know if you could see this, guys, but right here, see illuminated, it says open. Um, there's a little lever. I just noticed that right here, right? So you switch it over to the left side and now it'll say closed. Open, closed. And guys, we have charts, which is cool. So this is your ground charts. Very cool. Even charts with pods, nice. Okay. And then this one is, oh, your measurement chart, which is cool. So it tells you how much scoops to put in. Good. I could dig that. Well, that's the gist of my unboxing, guys. I'm ready to get going with this machine. Shout out to all my northerners out there, man. You already know what it is with Dunkin' Donuts. We'll be using Starbucks for the remainder of this video, but I had to represent We'll use this mug and probably at the end I'll do a carafe for you guys um, 
Because I'll never use a carafe. Because that's just completely way too much coffee for me. <laughs> Let's get this open, guys. Now, according to Ninja, the Ninja chart in the manual, it said I would need, what is it, two to three small scoops. So this is a big scoop, and this is a small scoop. So two to three small scoops. So I'm using Dunkin' Donuts. One, two, I do three. I love the smell. It smells good already. What flavor is this? this? Is caramel coffee cake? Cool. So I'm gonna close it back. Boom. All right. So let's get ready to brew some coffee for the first time here. So it's on closed. So I didn't read the menu. I don't know if it's supposed to be closed or open, but we'll find out right now. I want to leave it on classic. I don't need rich here. We want to make a small cup of coffee. That's fine. Eight ounces is fine. It says start brew here. What happens? Ah, gave me an error because the closed, this little lever is on closed. So I guess I need to have it on open so that the coffee can actually come out. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> All right. So let's hit start brew and see what happens. I imagine it'll take a couple of seconds. You heard that? That's like after 10 seconds, okay. It's pretty quiet so far. Notch to go. So we'll see. I want to see what we, I want to hear what it sounds like when we're done. So we should be done any second now because we're already at the last notch right there. There we go. Cool. All right, let's grab it and see how hot it is. Yes, it's very hot. It will burn my hand if I do that, so that's good. So I wanted to check that. Nice. Take a little swig. Yeah. All right, let's slide that out. Let's take this out and discard it. Boop. Let's put the K cup piece back in, like so. And I want to open that. Oh, wait, I think I have to do this, then push it up. Yep. Last coffee machine, my slogan was throw away your K cups. This time around, I'm telling you, keep your K cups, throw out your Keurig. We're gonna use some K-Cups, guys. So I got some caramel flavored Starbucks branded K-Cup. Let's open it up. Got a lot in here, which is good. That's what we're looking like. All right, guys, we're gonna make a Doug style specialty drink right now. That should be enough. Put a little of that in there. I'm going to put it in the microwave for about 60 seconds. Actually, 45 seconds was enough. cup in. Close it down. All right, the lever is on open, so I'm good there. Um, yeah, I don't want a full cup, so that we'll leave it right there. And I want to do specialty brew. So it says four ounces. I'm going to hit start. It's on open, so good. Hit start brew.
This could be you guys. I'm just saying. Now to stop the drippage, guys, you you want to put this lever to close, so you don't have to worry about anything dripping. On my first cup of coffee, I had some dripping down. Oh, you can't see down here because I left it open. So there you go. Now, of course, I'm gonna have you guys take a sip first. Man, look at this. You see how you see what I did? It wasn't much, fellas. Imagine giving your wife. Or girlfriend, a cup of this. Come on now. You first. You got it? Oh, yeah. That's good. That's real good right there. Just rinsed off my frother. Just ran through some warm water. No problem. I'm just going to go ahead and put it right back on. Boop. All we do here is lift up and take the K-cup out. Highest coffee time. By the way, guys, what I'm doing now, I could use ground or these K-cups. Doesn't matter. I'm just using the K-cups because that's something new to uh, the Ninja Coffee system. I'm going to pour some of this caramel on the ice. I fill the ice all the way up to the top of my container. I'm just going to pour some of this syrup in there just for fun. Go ahead and lift that up. Put that right there. Alright guys, let me go ahead and slide it to open. Let me go ahead and turn this on. Um, Brew style, I want over ice. Okay, and the size, this is the, it's only giving me two options, so I'll go to the second option. So the first option, oh, okay, so you got six ounces, eight ounces, 10, 12. I guess I'll, go, I'll, go, I'll do 12. Let's do it. Got our cake up in there, by the way, as you saw earlier, so. And like I said before, it doesn't matter if I had a K-cup or ground coffee, either one, I could do the same thing. Right, now we're coming down. Guys, I'm gonna add a little almond milk to it. Give it a nice color. I'm gonna take my straw and mix. There you have it. This could be you. You first. You got it? Perfect. Alright, let's make some tea, guys. I got some moringa leaves that came from my mom's house. Very good for you. I'm going to make my own tea bag. Link will be in the description, guys. All right, now I just got to tie it up. Just put it in a knot. good information here the ninja dual brew pro system has a separate water line completely independent of the line used for brewing coffee this ensures you get clean water every time with no coffee cross contamination I like that to get hot water I have to change this to that so let's see if it all right so okay so this part right here that's coffee and that's water and we want to get it to this little circle thing right here and you know you you'll switch it because you'll change water temp and boil I've never even seen that yet so let me switch it and see it goes back to coffee switch it back to water and there you go look at this real quick so water temp boil and hot so boil is 
instant oatmeal, instant mac and cheese, instant soup, and tea. And hot is like hot chocolate, hot water, and lemon. Okay. Okay, so I definitely want boil. What's that boil? And I definitely, I'll do what? Yeah, 12 ounces, that would be fine. And I guess I hit start. See what happens. Right to the brim, y'all. Not done yet. So you have some oodles and noodles or oatmeal. I'll get some of this. You got it? Mm hmm. Get some of that. You got it? Mm. Before I go, guys, I did promise. I'm going to do a carafe for you guys, not a problem. I'm going to use Starbucks ground coffee, close this out. By the way, that's seven big scoops. Close it up. Change this from water to coffee, boom. Go from close to open. And we are going to go all the way to 55 ounces. You see the full carafe illuminated right there. So, I'm going to hit start. And I fill the reservoir with water. I put tap water in there. I'm not going to drink this, guys. I'm totally doing this for you guys. All the rest of the stuff I'm going to drink, though. Mmm. <laughs> Smells nice and strong, guys. Mm. Okay guys, so according to the manual, see keep warm, I can take it off and you put it on to keep warm, default is two hours. You can change it to four hours. Very cool. I won't be using it because like I said, this is the only time I'm going to use the carafe. You can put this carafe in the dishwasher, no problem. And that's what I'm going to do. But as you can see, very hot. Handle is very is not hot at all, not even it's it's barely even warm. It's kind of just room temperature. But this part's hot, so don't touch that. Very cool. Smells like strong coffee in this kitchen right now. I did forget to mention, to change the time, you just hit that hour, minute. You just press that. 
and that's the correct time and you just use the dial to change press in use the dial go up and down and boom as that's what we're looking like on my counter guys this is what it looks like off it just shows you the time which is cool Before I go, I wanted to mention it did come with um, a manual and this quick start guide with some recipes in the back of it. Pretty cool. Let's take a look at that. Just some quick tips and easy quick setups for you. I didn't even look at this. I should have, but I mean the manual was pretty sufficient. So these are the recipes. My manual. This got a little wet, but that's okay. So you got cappuccino style coffee cocoa latte what else we got it's not a lot of recipes actually oh <laughs> that was it two recipes <laughs> well hey it's bad than nothing and of course this is the manual we got a bunch of charts in there manual's good to go i mean this is pretty much all the information you need to know anyway so like I said guys, I got this at Kohl's. I haven't seen it on Amazon as yet, but you know, they'll get it eventually. But right now I got mine at Kohl's. I don't know wherever else sells it, but Kohl's is fine enough for me. I have a Kohl's account, so I just put it on my account. I bought it online. I did curbside pickup. I got there. They came to my car, put it in my trunk, and I came home and did this video. Easy peasy. So right now... Um, the only place that I know that I saw it, it was Kohl's. There might be other places that you know, and you can put that in the comment section for other people to see, but Kohl's is good enough for me. All right? So, anywho, hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. If anything, thanks for just even looking at my video, y'all. It's Cooking with Doug. We out.